it was first shown at E3 2006, Africa wowed audiences with meticulously detailed animals and expansive environments. But it left players wondering just what kind of game it would be. After a few hours with the Japanese version, we can confirm that you won't be fighting for survival or poaching big game. Instead, Africa simulates the career of a wildlife photographer, observing animals and waiting for the right moment to take the perfect shot. Most days begin at base camp, where you can select gear, review photos, and check email for new missions. One ongoing mission simply requires you to snap a shot of each animal in the game, but you'll also receive more specific requests, such as documenting a giraffe's drinking stance or capturing a hippo's wide yawn. Shots are rated based on criteria such as angle, technique, and distance. Getting close to a target can be a challenge since most will either run away or chase you off. If you suffer a wildlife attack, you'll be sent back to base and lose any photos from that outing. You'll also take on exhilarating assignments called Big Game Trophies. There are 20 in all, and the first requires you to get an action shot of a cheetah hunting gazelle. Racing alongside the cat in the back of a Suzuki Jimmy, you'll rapidly snap off a series of shots, and the game will identify the best one for submission. As you progress, you'll be rewarded with access to new areas and the freedom to drive yourself instead of being chauffeured by a guide. You'll also unlock several Sony brand cameras and lenses, each one convincingly modeled after the real thing, with an impressive range of features. You can tweak your focus, adjust shutter speed, shoot in black and white, and so on. You can take vertical shots by simply tilting the six axis on its side. There's a lot to experiment with, and players who know cameras will be able to get the most out of the experience. There's also a variety of tools to purchase. Extra file storage lets you take more pictures per trip, tents let you camp overnight and avoid repeated drives to distant locations, and you can even purchase microphones and remote-controlled camera vehicles for use in later missions. Additionally, Africa includes dozens of unlockable high-res photos from the National Geographic Library, and the Africa Viewer as something of a bonus feature. You can also copy photos to the PS3 menu, upload them to an online gallery, or compete in photo contests online. Africa's in-game fauna is remarkably lifelike, with detailed textures and animations that show off every twitch and muscle. Unfortunately, the environments are less impressive with flat grasslands and pixelated plant life. And while expeditions are complemented by a surprisingly majestic soundtrack performed by the Hollywood Studio Symphony, curiously there's no spoken dialogue, despite characters moving lips to match. Although Africa is out in Japan, further release plans are still unknown. Reports indicate that it won't be released in Europe and there's no word on plans for America. While a game about photography isn't likely to be a blockbuster, Africa does fit Sony's mature and diverse portfolio, and could just find an audience in the West.